Hello guys, welcome back to the Tabletop Artist channel. Uh, in today's video I will show you how to paint uh, Lian Kai, this uh, convention exclusive model from the Corvus Belly for the Infinity. Uh, this is an awesome miniature to paint. I just uh, need to note that he's like a little tricky to assemble and some parts need a good trim so they can fit uh, perfect. Other than that, it was really fun to paint this mini. So uh, grab yourself a drink, sit back and enjoy the rest of the video. We will start with the base because the model is quite tricky to paint without the base. So first I primed the whole model and the base together uh, with the Raidbone spray. And then uh, after that dried, I applied the Karak stone. Uh, in the two thin coats all around uh, this uh, statue on his base. After Karak stone is dried, uh, we will wash the base with the Seraphine Sephia and uh, you can use like a really good amount of this wash because you want it to get in uh, all these recesses because this statue is uh, uh, very rich with the details. You can leave it to dry for a good half an hour or 45 minutes uh, because you want this wash to be really dry before you proceed for the dry brush stage. So. To do the highlights, uh, we will use Ushapti Bone and we will just uh, dry brush it all over the base and I will do this in a couple of uh, sessions. So just remove most of the paint from your uh, brush and just lightly go around the sharpest edges and just pull your brush until you get the nice coverage with it. Now after we finish with the base, we will go to our model. Uh, so we primed it with the Redbone spray, so try to get an uh, even coat all around the model because we will use the contrast paints and we want them to be uh, even all around. So the first contrast paint that I will apply will be a contrast black templar. Uh, I will use this uh, paint straight from the pot and I will apply it in the two thin coats uh, on all the parts that I want to be black. So at the end uh, it should lo look like this. Uh, for the, his blue armor I will use a Vallejo light uh, sea blue. Uh, if you don't have this color you can use a Temple, Temple Guard blue from the Gang's Workshop. It's a similar, similar tone uh, of the color. So just go around your model and block uh, all the parts that you want to be uh, blue. Uh, in this case, I copied the art from the box. This is how I did it. So you can pause here if you wanna copy the scheme. Uh, for his face and the right hand, I just used the Gilliman uh, Flash Contrast Paint. So I applied this in uh, one thick coat, uh, but I tried to avoid uh, pulling of the paint on his face. So just remove the ex excess of the paint with your brush and just leave it to dry. Uh, for his holster and the two leather straps that are holding a holster around his leg, I use the Rhinox Hide. Uh, this is very thick paint, so just add a little water to it uh, before apply it to your model, uh, because uh, it will flow uh, better from your brush. And uh, for his uh, tabard and uh, orange armor, uh, we will base them with the Griffhound orange contrast paint. Uh, so at this uh, time I had to remove the model from the base uh, because uh, 
uh, he have a lot of hidden parts that are under the model so when I finish with this I will transfer him to his original base because after this there is no more messy work so this is how our model looks like on the base and with all the base paints applied now we need to add some shadows to our model so I will use a dark tone and if you don't have the dark tone you can use a noon oil and I will shade his blue armor and I will shade as well the holster which I painted with the rhinox hide when you're applying this shade just try to avoid the pulling of the shade uh, on the flat panels because it will be easier to do a uh, next step uh, after everything uh, is dried uh, we will start uh, highlighting our model so first I will start with the black parts and I will use administratum gray so I will just put this uh, color on my wet palette and add a little water for it so it have a good flow and then I will just go around the model and I will do the edge highlighting on all the sharpest edges uh, this model have a lot of these parts so take your time and uh, go slowly all around and highlight every single edge and the result should be something like this at the end For the blue armor panels, I will go back to the light sea blue and uh, I will go and reinforce the armor panels but this time uh, I will try to cover uh, let's say two thirds of the armor and uh, that two thirds will be uh, usually the upper two thirds of the armor panels because the light is coming from the uh, top of the model and we still want uh, the bottom of the model to be in the shade and it should look something like this for the second stage of highlighting we will use a sky blue and this time uh, we will cover only the most raised top one third of the armor panels so just uh, have a steady hand and uh, try to have a nice and even coat with this uh, I had to do uh, two thin coats uh, to have a good coverage with this color And at the end uh, I will apply a final highlight uh, with the Ultuan Grey and this will be only an edge highlight on the most raised areas so just draw a little thin lines or the little dots on the areas where you want to have the best reflection To highlight the holster I will use the scrag brown and I will apply this uh, with the stippling technique so I will just use the top of my brush and just try to draw a little dots or little lines all across the edges on the holster so I create like the worn leather effect uh, on the straps uh, you want to highlight both uh, top and bottom edge of the uh, belt but still leave the middle uh, darker for his uh, orange armor and the cape uh, we will apply the irel yellow uh, so this color is really transparent so uh, do this in the three or four very thin coats and uh, 
the thing is like if you go back and try to do another coat before the previous coat is dry uh, you won't achieve anything because you will just remove the pigments around so just apply one thin coat then wait it for completely to get dry and then go back do another one and do that in the multiplayer layers so you will get the result uh, similar to this and the uh, final highlight will be done with the flash gets yellow so we will apply this only as a ha edge highlight so only on the sharpest edges of the armor and uh, on his cape only on the most raised uh, folds and as well on the edge of the cape to highlight his face uh, i will use the kisler flash and uh, I will apply this only as uh, my top highlight so only most raised areas of the hand and the fingers and as well like on the face you will do his forehead, nose uh, and ears and little on his cheeks as well And now it's time to do the eyes, so I will show you one nice and easy way to do his eyes. So you will take the white color and you will just uh, fill out the eye sockets uh, with the white paint and then wait for it to dry. And then take uh, the dark tone or the noon oil and just shade the whole eye socket uh, you don't want to put too much, but put a good amount of it inside. And then after everything is dry, just take your black paint and just uh, put a little dot in the middle of the aisle to create the pupil. Uh, I will use this uh, paint as well to draw his uh, facial hairs, so his eyebrows and the beard. And last thing that we need to do will be his sword. So I will just base the whole sword with the Evil Sun Scarlet. So I will do a really a good uh, two uh, thin coats to have a good and even coverage all around the sword. Uh, then I will shade the whole sword with the Druki Violet. Uh, I will apply this in one uh, very thick coat and give it another half an hour to dry properly. Then after that I will go back to Evil Sun Scarlet, but I will just reinforce the upper parts of the sword. So I will leave the lower parts uh, in the shade. Uh, you have the uh, mold line all over the sword, so it will be very easy to distinguish uh, top from the bottom, so just uh, paint the uh, upper parts. And for the end, our last highlight will be done with the fulcrum pink. So this will be just the edge highlight. So take your smallest brush and draw the lines all over the sharpest edges on the sword. Just. Uh, try to cover every single one of them. And our model is completed. Uh, I will transfer him to his uh, base that I already prepared. And uh, that's it. Guys, I hope this uh, video helped you and give you some good tips how to paint uh, Lian Kai and uh, if you enjoyed please uh, like and subscribe and uh, if you want to see me paint something else or you have some any suggestions or advices please uh, leave a, a comment below so this will be all for today uh, I wish you have a great day and uh, stay safe bye bye